Okay. Now question number six. There is this diagram of a sector AOB with a radius five centimeter and this arc length is given seven centimeter. Radius is five centimeter. Arc length. Arc length is seven centimeter. Now it's saying that explain why theta, this theta, the subtended angle over here, must be greater than one radian. So they need an explanation why it's greater than one, uh, this theta is greater than one radian. We know that if this arc length equals to, by definition of radian, if this arc length equal to the radi radius over here, then it's one radian. Since radius is less than the arc length, arc length, okay, therefore, theta must be greater than one radian, okay, since one radian is equals to when arc length arc length equals to the radius then subtended angle subtended angle is known as one radian okay so that's the definition all right now find the value of theta now arc length is given so we can find out we can write down the formula arc length l arc length AB equal to R theta. Now AB is given 7 and R is given 5. So theta equals to what? Theta equals to 7 by 5. That gives you 1 by 4 actually. It's 1 by 4 radiant. Remember it's 1 by 4 radiant. Okay. Now calculate the area of the sector AOB. Area of the sector now again they are asking for the formula uh, area of sector sector equal to half r square theta now this is half r is 5 square and theta we got 1.4 okay so it's uh, 25 divided by 2 times 1.4 so we got 17.5 so 17.5 the unit is given in centimeter, so it's square centimeter. Okay, so that's that. Now calculate the area of the shaded region. You can see that area of this shaded re region is nothing but the segment. Now we know area, or we can write down required area. Required area equal to area of the sector minus area of the triangle OAP. Okay, OAP. Now, area of the sector we already find out in the previous sum that's 17.5 minus over here it's gonna be the uh, formula half r square sine theta for this area of the triangle so half r square means 5 square sine theta means uh, theta is 1.4 1.4 radiant now remember to change the calculator mode to radiant Okay, so we are going to have, um, this is 17.5, 17.5 minus, that's going to be 25 divided by 2 times sine 1.4, the calculator in the radian mode. So it's 12.3181. I have taken four decimal places just in case because this is not my final answer. Final answer is... 5.181878 so I can write down 5.18 square centimeter okay the reason I have kept it like that because sometimes the answer is given in some marginal um, uh, marginal error um, range so if it's out of the range you may lose some marks therefore I have taken since this is not my final answer I have taken four decimal places and my final answer I have given two decimal places to make it three significant figures. Okay. All right. Question number seven is matrix. Now, uh, uh, I have given two of the matrices. A given two by two matrix. B is two by two matrix. Find the matrix is such that C equals to 3A plus B. That's pretty simple. C equal to three. Then A is four, three, five, two. Plus B is four, one, two, three. Now we are multiplying each elements of this matrix with this 3. So 3 
fours are 12, three fives are 15, three threes are nine, three twos are six, plus four, one, two, three. Now, if I add this corresponding elements, 12 plus four, that's gonna give me 16, 15 plus two, that's gonna give me 17, nine plus one, that's gonna give me 10, and six plus three, that's gonna give me nine. So my final answer would be, that's uh, 16, 10, 17, and nine. Okay, so that's my final answer. I just box it in. Okay, show that determinant of AB equals to determinant of A times determinant of B. Now, determinant of AB. Okay, so we need to find out AB first. So AB, we're going to multiply that. 4, 3, 5, 2, and then 4, 1. Uh, then we have... Um, two, three over here, and then we can multiply this one. Mm, four, uh, if you remember, we multiply like that. Four fours are 16, plus five times one is five, then four times two is eight, and five times three is 15, then three, this and this. Three times four is 12, two times one is two, and now this and this, three times two is six, and two times three is six. So this is going to be 16 plus five, 21, 12 plus two, 14, eight plus 15, that's gonna be 23, and then six plus six, 12. Okay, now determinant of AB is going to be this crisscross multiplication, 21 times 12, 21 times 12 minus this one product of this diagonally uh, diagonal elements over there so 21 times 12 21 times 12 is giving me 252 minus 23 times 14 that's gonna give me 322 so 252 minus 322 I got negative 70 okay what about okay I got the determinant of a B okay that's that's determinant of a B now i need to find out determinant of a and determinant of b let's put this one left hand side and right hand side it's saying that determinant of a times determinant of b so what is determinant of a same way four times two is eight and then five times three is 15 that's 15 and then product of determinant of b four times three is 12 and two times one is minus two. So I'm gonna have over here minus seven times this is 10 equal to negative 70. Okay, so this determinant, you can see that left hand side equal to right hand side. Therefore, left hand side equal to right hand side. And it's uh, it says show, so we just put showed. Okay, so that's done. Now find the matrix of a B inverse so a B is the a B matrix 2 by 2 it's 21 14 23 12 so a B inverse would be the determinant of that you know that whenever we are writing the inverse determinant goes in the denominator and we have this determinant of a B minus 70 so it's minus 70 and then we switch this place 12 21 and it remains, these two elements remains on their same positions, but sign changes. It's a minus 23, minus 14. Since it didn't say simplify, we can keep it as it is, or we can multiply. I just want to keep it like this, okay? So number seven is done. Number eight, that's simultaneous equation, probably easy. Um, y is given 15x plus 10, and this is, uh, 4 plus 5 by y plus 3 by x equal to 0. Now what are we going to do? We're going to replace the value of y, uh, value this y over here. Okay. So when you do that, there are so many different ways you can do that. You can multiply this and that. Okay. I'll just do this one this way. 4 plus 5 divided by, instead of y, we're going to replace this one. 15x plus 10 
plus 3 by x equal to 0. Now we are trying to find out the LCM. This denominator is 1, so LCM is going to be... Uh, okay, before we do that, uh, actually I can see that I can take some common over here and I can make it simple. So, sorry about that. It's 4 plus, this is 5. And if I take 5 common, it's going to be 3x plus 2. 5, 5 cross out plus 3 by x. This is very important to see things like that. It's going to make your calculation really easy. So 3x plus 2 plus 3 by x equal to 0. Denominator is 1. So now LCM is, they are different base. So 3x plus 2 that. And it, it has 1. So divide this by 1. We got everything here. So 4x and multiply by 3x plus 2. Over here, 3x plus 2, if I divide this by that, it's cross out. So x, x times 1 is x. And if I divide this, x, x cancel out. So 3 equal to uh, 3 multiplied by 3x plus 2 equal to 0. This one, we transpose that side. It multiplies with 0 and get, get, gets becomes 0. So when I take this bracket off, 4, 3 is a 12x square plus 4, 2 is a 8x plus x plus 9x plus 6 equal to 0 times that equals to 0. Now I have 12x square. That's 9x, 9x plus 18x plus 6 equal to 0. I can take something common from here. What can I take common? I can take 6 common. If I take 6 common, I have 2x square plus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. And uh, transpose this 6 to that side. It's going to be 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 equal to 0 times 6 is 0. Now this is, I can do it in middle term break. 2 times 1, that makes 2. Product is 2, but when I add these two factors, I get the middle term, uh, 3x. So 2x squared plus 2x plus 1x plus 1 equal to 0. From this 2, if I take 2x common, I have left out here x plus 1. And from here... I can take only one common, then x plus 1 equal to 0, then 2x plus 1, and x plus 1 plus 1 equal to 0. So therefore, I have two values of x, x equal to minus 1 from here, and from here, minus half. Okay, so I can come back to this equation now. When x equal to minus 1, when I have x equal to minus 1, then y equal to 15 minus 1 plus 10. That's minus 15 plus 10 minus 5. So in the answer, I can write down this way, this fashion, x, y equal to x equal to minus 1, y equal to minus 5, minus 1, minus 5. And when x equal to, I have another value of x, minus half, minus half, then y equal to 15 minus half plus 10, that's going to be 7.5 minus 7.5 plus 10. So I'm going to have 2.5. So another value. And when x is minus half, I can write down this. This can be written as um, um, decimal uh, yeah, fraction. 2.5. If I take this one off, it's 10. 5 twos are 5 fives. So I can write down 5 by 2. It doesn't matter. Decimal or um, fraction. Okay. So that's. There are two values for x and y, minus 1, 5, minus 1, minus 5, minus half, 5 by 2. Number 9, okay, it's uh, integration. Um, if you look closely, you can divide all of those by x square. That's going to make things easier, so I'll do that. Um, distributive law of uh, division, uh, what are you going to do? We're going to divide this x cubed by x square, so I'm going to have here x. And that's going to be 1 x squared divided by x. And this is going to be x to the power minus 2 dx. So when we integrate that, so this is going to be 1 uh, x, x to the power. Um, the power is 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2 divided by 2. That's going to be x because this is x to the power 0. x to the power 0. When we integrate that, x to the power 0 plus 1. And here 0 plus 1. So Actually, basically, this is x, okay? And this one over here, plus x to the power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1. And of course, don't forget the constant c. 
So you can write down half x square plus x. And from here, we are, we are going to have minus 1. So I put minus 1. And power would be minus 1. So it's 1 by x plus c. That's our answer. Okay. Now it says find sine theta. And theta over here is 5x plus pi. Okay. And we know that when we integrate that, it's going to be minus sine sin theta. When I integrate that, minus cos then 5x plus pi, this theta. But whatever the coefficient of x, that's divide over here. And don't forget the constant. So it's going to be minus 1 by 5 cos 5x plus pi plus c. That's the answer for this one. Okay. Now, we are going to evaluate this okay uh, from this 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 b1 we know that when we integrate that we're gonna get this answer so what are you gonna do we're gonna just write down that answer minus 1 by 5 cos 5x plus pi we don't need to write down c because you know that whenever we are dividing but when we have c c and c is um, c gets cancelled out so we don't need that and over here minus pi by 5 okay so when this is 0 minus half cos this becomes 0 and this is going to be pi okay so we do that and then minus formulas minus okay and minus minus that becomes plus half now this one is going to be minus 5 let me write down minus pi by 5 and then plus pi okay so this 5 and 5 cross out so minus 5 minus pi uh, that's going to be 0 i forget to put cos cos so it's going to be minus that cos pi plus this is 5 cos and that's going to be 0 we know that cos 0 equal to 1 so that's going to be 1 by 5 times 1 and over here, cos pi is actually minus 1. We can see that uh, cos pi equal to minus 1. So minus 1 by 5 minus 1. And this is that. So it's 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5. So I got 2 by 5 or we can write down 0 0.4. So either answer will do. So that's that. Okay. Thank you. I'll see you in next video.